My friends, I think we have to take an honest look at the new and grisly revelations that are coming forth regarding the practices of our country, uh, regarding the unborn child. I'm speaking specifically about the new revelations regarding the planned parenthood policies of harvest harvesting body parts, of selling unborn baby cadavers, things that perhaps in the past we would think of only in a type of fantasy novel, uh, a brave new world scenario, that is now a reality in our country. And I do believe that abortion, along with homosexuality, are the two sins that bring down God's justice more than any two sins because they're such a violation of God's natural law. We have now evidence that the federally funded Planned Parenthood is in the process of altering their abortion procedures in order to protect certain body parts, which is against federal law, uh, as well as just the overall indecency of what's taking place with our brothers and sisters who are killed in the womb and now being sold for their body parts, all of which just redounds on the, on the more fundamental principle of the direct killing of innocent human life, which has become part and parcel of our country since 1973. My friends, we are responsible for this. It, it, there, there's a sense of a personal debt and there's a sense of a national debt in the moral order. Our country will pay dearly for this outcry of the blood of the unborn that rises to the heart of Abba, Father of all mankind. It is incumbent on us to do all we can in the order of prayer, and I would encourage holy hours, hours of Eucharistic adoration in reparation uh, for abortion and to defund Planned Parenthood. I would encourage the writing of our, represent, uh, our state representatives and our federal representatives, uh, both uh, uh, congressmen and senators, uh, because in a real sense, our, our hearts perhaps are getting a little uh, unfocused or hardened regarding what it means to support a pro-abortion candidate. Uh, when you say, well, I'm going to support this candidate because I agree with their economic policy, even though I don't necessarily agree with their position on abortion, you're putting money over the person. These are, uh, this is similar to many of the arguments that are used to justify abortion. Number one, it's inconvenient. Number two, I can't afford the child. Number three, it could cost me a career. Well, could you ever justify the direct killing of an innocent human being for those elements? It's inconvenient, someone ahead of you in a bank line. It's ahead of you in career, someone who has a position you're vying for as a career possibility. Can you really directly kill the individual that's preventing your career advancement? Uh, economic issues, you can't afford uh, an individual and therefore you have the right to directly kill them. And in the, in the old expression, which, which has been debunked through more contemporary embryology and biology and interuterine uh, investigation science about the fact that you are talking about a unique human genetic structure from the moment of conception, this idea that uh, who dare take over my say over my body? Uh, this was the old uh, scream of the radical women's rights movements and before. And then they stopped it because it was so directly violating the facts of science, which tell us now that the child is a unique human genetic structure from the moment of conception. A genetic structure was the, is what determines what type of a thing a thing is. And so, this, this old expression is now being recycled that Planned Parenthood attacks and, and this pro-life group releasing these videos are simply trying to once again take away a woman's right over her body. This is biological and ethical nonsense. We will be responsible, and I would say this, for any Catholics or Christians who have voted for an individual based on economy or based on party loyalty, neither one of those excuses will stand before God. Jesus is not going to say, well, what do you mean you supported killing children because you wanted to be loyal to a party or because you like this person's economic policy? That's not going to fly. 
we're going to be responsible before God. So I, I ask you for a new conviction of heart. We have to pray. We have to bring Our Lady into this battle in a powerful way. Pray the rosary. Do not pray the rosary a single time without including the intention of ending abortion and defunding Planned Parenthood, at least at this time, when that is at least a possibility. We've got to do our spiritual means, and if you can, add some fasting to your prayers to end this tragic age. Because, my friends, historically, we're not going to be judged on the fact that we have faster wireless service. We're going to be judged on the fact that we were killing our next generation, all under the auspices of sophistication. That will be history's judgment upon our age. So let's do all we can. And again, for the Catholics and the Christians who have voted for pro-abortion candidates because of economic policy or just wait or everything else, remember this principle, my, my friends. If you're not alive, you're not so much concerned about private property or free speech or freedom of religion. religion. Why? Because you don't have existence. So in the hierarchy of truth, the right to life still reigns supreme. And again, in terms of personal responsibility, Jesus is not going to take as an excuse our loyalty to a person, an elected official that we support because we like their economic policy, we like their foreign policy more than their policy regarding life. So let's pray to end the scourge of abortion. Do what you can in writing to your representatives, both state and federal, to defund Planned Parenthood from this this. this horrendous, grisly process that's taking place. Not enough to kill the children, but now we have to make money based on their bodies. It's something we would only assume would happen in an apocalyptic novel of the future, but it's happening now. So, with trust and with hope, but also with conviction, pray the rosary to end abortion and to defund Planned Parenthood. Write to your elected officials saying that you cannot expect my support if you vote in favor of Planned Parenthood. And let's entrust the whole cause to Our Lady of Guadalupe, the patroness of the unborn, so that we're doing our share, our role, our part, both in prayer and in action to stop this genocide, for which we will be, at least as a nation, responsible. It's Mark Miravalli saying thank you, and let's invoke Our Lady in this battle to protect our brothers and sisters in the womb. God bless.